Mary Jane and Coffee. I am your host, Light Burley. Today's subject is the power of shame. Here's Burley's five top laws dealing with the power of shame. Rule number one, when you aim shame, use a sniper's rifle, not a scattergun. When using the bullet of shame, you must hit the intended target. Casualties will only bring shame back on you. It's like the killer that runs in the crowd and kills everybody except his attended target. Law number two, use the shame sale. Most people will try to haggle you, but if your product is truly good, demean all lesser products he is entertaining. Even Burger King's famous motto, have it your own way, suggests that anywhere else, you would be having it their way. Law number three, shame is a part of the pain train. Pain and shame usually run together, which makes the lesson easier to see. When I was young, while playing with matches, I lit my mother's pants on fire. The shame for playing with matches and the pain from the butt whooping made sure I got the lesson. Lord number four, shame from the fact, not feelings. If a hunter goes out and works hard while hunting but bring back nothing, he bears no shame. But the lazy hunter who fell asleep and let the villagers starve, bears the full burden of shame. Law number five, use shame to tame the undisciplined and lazy. See, the bite of shame can be used to redirect the lazy-minded. The stain of shame can be removed like bleach does a coffee stain. It's shame that gave birth to disappointment. Disappointment is the bougier version of shame. Shame lives in the ghetto. Disappointment lives in the burbs. Sip your coffee. Take a pull from your joint. And I bid you adieu. It is your host, Light Burley.